Good evening, cadets. This is Lieutenant Hotchis, your squadron deputy commander, or squadron cadet deputy commander. Um, today, what I want to go over real briefly um, is the battle dress uniform going to the airman battle uniform, uh, or in other words, BDU to ABU. Um, the BDU is what we currently wear. You've hopefully you've seen it, and hopefully you follow all the rules uh, about the uniform that is. Uh, the Airman Battle Uniform is the stuff that the Air Force wears now. Uh, like when you see when you pull up to the gate and you give you know the, your ID, say okay CAP meeting. Um, that's what they're wearing. They're wearing the Airman Battle Uniform, brand new. Um, it almost looks like the Army Combat Uniform. However, it's tiger stripe, not dotted. So anyway, on to CAP switching over to it. Um, the United States Air Force has said, we would be glad to give it to you. Now, don't get too excited, because that doesn't mean anything. Um, they, would say, they said, that'll be glad, you know, we'll be glad to give it to you. But we just got to get enough of them. So they're working on getting all these AB, all this uh, ABU for us. And believe me, not just like us, not Dang Squadron, like the entire Civil Air Patrol. That's like, I think like a total of seventy thousand people are in the Civil Air Patrol. That's in, that includes seniors. Um, but anyway, so they're working on getting all this, all these ABUs for us. However. While they're working on that, CAP National uh, National Headquarters General uh, Major General Charles Carr is saying, "Okay, I'm looking at this. Why? What are the pros of this uniform? What are the cons? Do we really need it? Do we really not?" Um, also, you know, you're, you're probably thinking, "Why don't we just get it? We're supposed to be like the Air Force." I mean, once they get, once they have enough, just, why don't they just give it to us? I mean, they should, once they get that, what, what's the big deal? Well, the thing is, I agree with you. They should have it. They should give it to us. We should be like the Air Force. But the thing is, don't fix something if it's not broken. Our BDUs, they're perfectly fine. And... From two years ago, when I initially heard that we might be switching over to ABUs, I went from extremely excited to, you know, I don't really care anymore because we're probably just never going to get them. So, don't get your hopes up. Um, so, anyway, CAP uh, National Headquarters is having a national conference this April in Baltimore. Um, that is when they're going to discuss... Should we get our the airman battle uniforms, or should we stick with the battle dress uniforms? And also a lot of other things. Um, if personally, if I were to go, I would ask this question: Can I? Can we wear berets with our dress blues? I mean, that's what the Air Force does. That's what the Army does. That's what the well, Marine Corps and Navy don't wear berets, but you get the point. We're supposed to be like the Air Force. Why don't we do it? Um, but that's, that's another story. Um, so, the Airman Battle Uniform, like I said, don't fix something if it's not broken. Our BDUs are not, they have a surplus. I repeat, surplus, which means more than what they need of battle dress uniforms. Airman Battle Uniforms, they're right at the equilibrium. You know, they just have enough for the Air, for the Air Force and they just have enough for private contractors or wh whoever or collectors. Um, so I don't think any time in the future that we're going to get our Aaron Battle uniform. Uh, I've heard year by year, okay, we're going to get them in 2010. Okay, now we're going to get them in 2011. Now 2012. Now 2013. Then they change that, and it's like, oh, we're going to get them in 2014. Um, so if you if you see this happening, it, it's probably not going to happen. Um, don't get what's a good don't cry over spilled milk. Um, I mean it's it's just a uniform. So what? 
Join the Rail Air Force. You'll get them. Um, unless they change them again. Um, also, one thing about the Airman Battle Uniform. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to clear some things up about that. Um, like the wear of it and uh, things like that. Even though for not wearing it, there's some controversy going on. So let me get started. The Airman Battle Uniform is the same thing as a BDU uniform. Now, everybody's like, okay, well, they have Velcro patches. It's going to be so much easier. Just, you know, when you get promoted, rip it off and then put on a new one. And if you change your name and you get, like, married or something, which hopefully cadets shouldn't be doing, you just rip it off, put on a new name. Um, you know, with, with patches and whatnot, you just rip it off, put a new one on. Uh, if you get ground team, if you get ground team certified, you just... Uh, just slap the patch on, put some Velcro on there, and you're good to go. With the American flag right there, you know, it's all good. And maybe if you go to Hawk Mountain, you get Ranger First Class, you put it right, slap that on right there. No. You're wrong. You're way wrong. That is the ACU. There's a difference between ACU and ABU. ACUs are the Army Combat Uniform. Those are the ones that have Velcro on them. And nowadays, it's not even Velcro anymore. They have a choice of Velcro or so on. And a lot of them choose Velcro, but that, you know, still there's a majority of people who choose so on. But um, that's the Army Combat Uniform. The Airman Battle Uniform, you still have you still have to pin on your ranks. You still have to do all that stuff. Um, with, the, with the Battle Dress Uniform, you would normally pin on your ranks here. Uh, as a cadet, and as you know, and as a senior member, but in the real Air Force, they put their patches here. For instance, let me let me see if I have this. Um, here we go. Okay, so I have senior master sergeant right here. Instead of you know putting it right here on your collar, they would have it right here, and that's where it would stay. So it's so on. So it wouldn't matter even if you got your airman battle uniforms. Um, you would still be pinning on pinning them on here, and you would still have to sew on all this stuff. It wouldn't matter. There's no, like like I said, don't fix something if it's not broken. And not only that, if it's not going to change anything, don't do it. Um, I mean, we're still going to have to pin on everything. We're still going to have to sew everything on. The only thing we might not be might have might not have to do is shine our boots, because with the Amarin Battle uniform, they wear tan boots that are not shinable. You just keep them clean and you're good to go. Um, that and rolling up the sleeves, that's that that's all I can think of. And just keep, keeping the uniform clean. I mean, it, it's like the same as BDUs, except for the shoes. It's the same thing. Um, so that brings up the last thing that I have to say. We're not going to get them anytime soon. Deal with it. Um... And, in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with the Battle Dress uniform. I still have, don't call me a loser, um, I still have a lot of fun shining my shoes every Wednesday night for DMA. Yes, Delaware Military Academy. Sorry, everybody that hates Navy. Um, but for Delaware Military Academy and for CAP. I find myself having a little fun. Not only that, it's, all, it's also the fun ways to do it. Um, so, I mean, I don't mind. I've gotten over it. If we change, we change. That's just one less thing for me to do and worry about. So, that is it for tonight. Um, this was Lieutenant Hotchkiss. Out of here.